Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a new video. I know it's been a while, I'm sorry. Summer keeps me very busy. But today's video is all about the archiving of anything 1320 or Racing Rivals. I had a guy on my Facebook very recently, um, his name was David as well, comment about Racing Rivals coming back and being playable rather than 1320 Legends or Challenge. Finally, somebody asked about a different game. It's about damn time. I wanted to make the video today to explain that. So there is going to be an archive page. It's in the works. I have to find my version 1.7 of 555R. I have not been able to find that version yet, but it's on my computer somewhere. I do have 2.0 uploaded, and I have most of the Anon file links work. Actually, all the Anon file links work except for these two. And I need to make myself an internet archive account so I can actually upload the other betas to Internet Archive myself. Legends will be on here. Uh, links to tutorials for modifying 1320 Legends Challenge and 555R will be on here eventually, as well as Racing Rivals links to the game clients because holy shit, did I go through and do some work today? downloaded every Android version of the game. It's very difficult to find download links for old versions of the iOS version of the game. One of the computers in my house has a beta version of Fueled Racing still on it. I don't know where it is, but since it's iOS, it's much harder to modify to look at our own custom server. But eventually I'll get into that and we'll figure it out and we'll go from there. Racing Rivals will eventually be on this page as well, as well as links and tutorials and stuff for getting this stuff modified to maybe work now today what um someone on my facebook his name was david he had asked about racing rivals being playable that's what today's video is actually about i just wanted to let you know about this web page so right here i've had this going now for about 10 minutes for it trying to figure out just the sheer storage size we would need of a server to actually make Racing Rivals playable. This would have to be hosted off of somebody's house that has gigabit internet that's willing to do it for free. Unlikely. Uh, it is possible that somebody could build their own server and have this stuff hosted for a very small number of people to run the game. But this is just the content, the actual 3D models, the textures, the user interface that the game needs in order to run so wheels cars uh the body wraps the images for all the icons in the game etc 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 are all in these folders these are the these are the folders that are for sure needed to run the game well over 100 gigs of information and still not done yet this is gonna go over a million files as you can see it's already over four million folders because of the way it's organized. So I'll leave that off to the side so I can point at it later. The other thing I wanted to show off is something that I wasn't initially going to show off until it worked 100% and was actually playable, but seeing the sheer storage size we're going to need for just storing the game files, this is gonna be harder than we thought. So, a couple days ago, somebody came to me from me posting in a Discord channel looking for some help on uh, basically programming a server to work with Racing Rivals, and I'm in the wrong folder. I need this one. He helped out in making a live71.fueled.cgames.com API that will actually work with Racing Rivals. I don't know why I closed that, I'm about to open it. So this is a basic PHP script that he wrote. His name is Nice Matt on Discord. Awesome guy, he made this basic script. This will respond to the game if I modify an IL to CPP version of Racing Rivals. We have still have yet to figure out this hash thing so we can't do custom responses. But once we figure that out, we can do custom responses and start working on an actual server for Racing Rivals as far as the actual code. Now, the reason we actually have this and this for logging in is because of a program I 
have been using for years called Charles Web Debugging Proxy. So as I will show you, if I open up Knox, I have a modified version of Racing Rivals 7.3.1. I think it's 7.3.1. Let me see. I don't know what version it is. 7.3.0. I have a version of this installed here, and then it does proxy through to Charles. If I launch this version of Racing Rivals, which is modified to look at some random web server on the internet that just happens to give a positive response that it's a real web server, as you can see up in the top left corner. Oh, I thought there was a cat under my desk. There is not. It's going to load this Facebook prompt. Ignore it. We are officially over 110 gigs. Racing Rivals will load real quick. Resolving races. And as you can see, it does load into the garage using Charles. We do have that small API that does make it possible to respond from a real server. But again, it's very basic code. We don't actually have a way to send custom responses because we don't know how this hash was generated when it comes to these strings. So while the game loads up and does work, very loosely saying that it works, I promise you very loosely am I saying that it works, we still need some way to host this 113 to... I think it's probably going to be closer to 130 gigs of actual game content. So basically everything you're seeing on the screen right now when it comes to this icon, uh, this icon, this icon, this icon, any kind of icon, the wrap on the car, the 3D model of the car, the actual racetrack. Do, 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 do. The actual racetrack, as you can see, um, all of this stuff is loaded from my computer rather than a web server. The only thing that's actually loaded from a that can be loaded from a web server right now is this code. Unfortunately, the API code, and there is no way to do the uh, custom. API calls or anything like that because the folders are just too damn big for the assets. 175 gigs. And it might still not be done, but it might be done. I don't know. So the game is a total of about 175 gigs plus the PHP or whatever way the game is recreated. And I just don't know how we're going to support that, whether it be free or not. And I don't want to involve money again. We saw what money did to 1320 Challenge. It did not fare well, uh, to say the least. So while it's in a working state locally, which means only on my computer because I am currently just basically faking it in a sense. I am running it locally because I have these responses saved from a couple days before they shut the game down. There is not currently a way I can think of to run a server to run the actual assets of the game. And we have to figure out the hash algorithm to create custom responses from the server. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. Oh, my girlfriend's home. So I just wanted to let you guys know where things were since people are starting to ask about, hey, where's Racing Rivals? It's a very long road. I don't even know if it's actually going to become playable anytime soon, but it's a positive step in the right direction. That's at least something. So I hope you guys understand. Don't take this as Racing Rivals is coming back because that this doesn't mean shit, but it's a step. So let's see if we can move forward, tell your friends, ask anybody that knows programming and all that if they can look into this and maybe help with the hash algorithm, and we'll go from there. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.